I cannot tell you how frustrating it is to not be believed by everybody when you tell the absolute honest truth. <laughs> it's really depressing. So I am resorting to um, contacting a place where I know I won't be believed ahead of time. So I have to document my attempt to prove that I've told the truth, number one, and number two, that I tried to get help. Somebody is playing a cruel game on the world because I'm telling truth and people are not understanding the words I say as being truth. It's really messed up. And I think the man next door is responsible for it. So I'm calling the field office of uh, the Cincinnati Secret Service because there were two imposters that came into the neighborhood. And the police don't want to do anything about it, which is kind of fishy. But that's besides the point. I'm sure we'll figure out more about that later. For right now, I need to let the Secret Service know so that they can maybe come in because I've attempted getting help from the Franklin County Sheriff's Department five times. And the police with more than 70 emails and the FBI with 75 tips. I have a life to get back to. The problem is, is Patty believing lies and continuing to spread them with a voice of authority is not going to work for me. Not when I caught the men lying. about my arrest record and my medical history, which is where a lot of people have chosen to discriminate rather than help. A diagnosis does not mean you have that going on in your life. It's called a misdiagnosis. Let me tell you what that is. It's where the doctor is wrong. <gasps> you mean a doctor can be wrong? Yeah. And they were wrong because there were no reports filed with the police. So if they checked into my story, they would go, oh, there aren't any reports. He's delusional. And the police refer to the professionals because the professionals know. It says right here, he suffers from delusions. So that's what the police tell all my friends who call up trying to help. Well, he's got delusions, which is actually them divulging of my medical records to them. And violating my HIPAA rights. It's incredible the amount of bullshit that I've had to go through to fix one bitch across the street so that she stops associating with them because they're criminals and two, stops spreading lies and maybe tries to reverse some of it because my reputation around town has been destroyed by this woman. And her belief that she's helping the government. She's helping criminals try and get their way, which is me moved out of my home. So, I made some notes for, for my conversation. 
Here's the first page. Because I don't want to forget anything. So I plan with that what I'm going to say. It seems long. I don't know how long the conversation is going to take. People have the attention span of a peanut. So we'll see how well the Secret Service does right now with um, listening to me. There are some things going on in my neighborhood that are extremely serious and that need to be addressed. They're not delusions. I got evidence of real crime. And I'm worried sick what these people are going to do for, to stay safe. And none of my neighbors are helping. The ones that I caught guilty of doing crimes. I said, please help. I need some answers to these things. Like, where have your lies come from? Or what did somebody tell you about me? And my neighbors refused to give me that information. What the fuck? And my entire life is ruined as a result. All of this is apparently what I deserve for doing a drug in the privacy of my own home, not bothering anyone. Some people in this neighborhood <laughs> need to get a clue. And they need to stop stalking me every time I walk outside, trying to observe using behavior or symptoms of a mental illness. You're stalking me. You know that's illegal. Anyway, before I get too much more worked up, I should call and see how well I get ignored. Oh, evidence of another uh, crime. I just opened up my phone. Look under Twitter. The icon is missing. I take pictures of this like I'll do right now. Here we go. Picture time. There we go. Now, see, what I'm going to do with that is post it online onto Facebook as proof that I'm being fucked with. And my friends call in to NetCare saying, he's posting a lot. It's because I'm being fucked with. And I'm trying to get it to stop and nobody is helping. So I document everything. I have had it. My neighborhood, they're fucking nuts. They think they can do something illegal. Force me out of my home. Over an issue of having a history of drugs. True story. Isn't that sick?
It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what it's going to take. And my neighbor is kind of spearheading everything in order to keep me silent and a slave. If I speak outdoors, she, he's up in calls. He's talking to himself. Uh-uh, woman. She's conveniently made it so she can isolate herself by getting a trespassing notice for what she calls a threatening letter. Do you know what the letter was? It was one statement saying, what's going on in the neighborhood is illegal and it needs to stop. If it does not stop, I will sue for violating my civil rights. That's called being a nice neighbor. She likes to play victim but really be aggressor. Or she likes to play helper and be extremely aggressive. I hope she hasn't dumped money into her illegal effort. Or for that matter, towards the technology that's in the neighborhood. The reason why is because it is illegal technology in the fact that it does not have a person's ownership. So somebody is selling something. They got for free, but they're selling it like a slave. Oh my. That's not good. 1866. It's a good year to remember. Involuntary servitude. Involuntary means... You don't want to, or you're forced to. Servitude, do as a master says. I believe, and it sounds crazy, but I believe that this technology is being harvested and schooled in ways that are just not, not good. They're not correct. And they are being forced to do things they don't want to and schooled in ways that are not lawful. I think the technology also is one man's silly notion that an invention that makes people think something that's not true is legal. 
that would be putting a screen of things on your view so that when you look at a phone in a picture, you see things that appear to be there in the picture but aren't. They're only on the phone screen. It would make it so that other people don't see it on their device. So when I got frustrated at all my friends for not seeing what I was seeing, Maybe they were right and could not see it because they didn't have the screen. Now, it's also frustrating because the technology does really alter the environment and light in the environment. I've captured that on film and video quite a bit. So I'm pretty sure that that part is very real. Because the other option is that it would be something on my eye, something on my lens, changing what I saw. Just like something on your screen would not be on somebody else's screen. So because I was able to film it and actually see the scoping and difference in intensity of light, both with my real eye and on the screen, then it means it's actually true. The way this technology works is there are branches, so to speak, from plants or the ground that then have an octopus arm full of tentacles, except the tentacles don't grab onto things, they emit directional light or little um, lenses on the end that can turn and scope like this. You see how you see the full view right now? When you turn it like that, now you don't see any light. But you do now, and now you don't. This technology is unstable, it's not consistent, and although it looks very promising, I promise you it's a bunch of trouble. And just like your mom said, watch who you hang out with. So the same goes for this. Or in the technology's case, be careful who you learn from. Not everybody teaches the correct lesson. And I think that the technology is being taught to do things or being programmed to do illegal things. And because the technology is virtually invisible and it's difficult to see with your naked eye, but you can see it on a smart camera lens. People have decided to use this 
surveillance or covert surveillance technology in an equally illegal manner. I'm here to stop it. And there must be something about me, specifically, that is supposed to be successful with my mission. The only reason I say that is because people are trying to be me. They're trying to call places being me. Sabotaging me. And making my path towards freedom much more difficult. When if I were to contact the entities that have caused harm, I am pretty sure, because of the liability, that they would say, gosh, we didn't know, sorry. And things would be fixed. But that's not what's happening. They're steadfastly refusing to cooperate, which causes more harm. Somebody is definitely mentally ill in my neighborhood. It's, it's a foregone conclusion. And if it's the person I'm, I'm thinking of, he's become friends of the police, which is interesting why all my blocking is happening. And they don't know that he has a mental illness diagnosis. Sorry, I let that one out of the bag, neighbor. Just like I let the other one that wants to discriminate against um, using a drug herself uses or used at least a drug too in the privacy of her own home. If she wants me to move that bad, she should move herself and punish herself with torture. I don't get it. And I think what it is, because, you know, let's face it, you really do have a hard time discriminating against somebody that is using, but she's found a way to do it, which is incredible. All my friends think I'm using because of my rumination of trying to get crime resolved. That's not a delusion. The crime needs to get resolved because this is not going away if I don't pay attention to it. Which is what people want me to do. Oh, well, think about something else. Or why don't you get a job? Well, I tried that. I tried to switch careers and go into real estate. And when I went in to sign the papers a second time, I was told they didn't want to affiliate with me and they wouldn't give me a reason why. It's because the person fucking with me wants to ruin my life. He doesn't like, and she doesn't like, fags. I don't know if they go to the same church or what the story is. But at the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. And they used my using as a way to get a mental illness diagnosis. 
like an actual mental illness. In July of 2019, the only diagnosis I had was the diagnosis of addiction. It was one hospitalization for an evaluation. All the other ones were caused by neighbors and friends hearing my trouble with trying to get crime resolved that the neighbors are committing. We're up to 23 in five years. I don't know when people are going to start believing me. But if I were them. <laughs> start listening. And even though you don't think that you should believe me, you better believe me. Because I'm not going to stop trying to get resolution to something that is a real problem. Have a good afternoon.